Prince Charming, episode four. Is it four already? Four. Because oh. you're a moron and wrote five. <laughs> I didn't write five. You did, no, and you're a moron and can't no. count because you're from Oklahoma. It has nothing to do. You wrote number five. No, I said not five. And why did you write not five? I went, because you wrote five because you're a moron. I didn't write five. On the recap, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. What recap? Ep- I hate you so <laughs> much. I put episode one and two and then three. I er, Viewers, look. Look what it says. It says episode five. And where? On the YouTube? On YouTube. Somebody must have added that. Right, because the Russian hackers are trying to fuck with our show. <laughs> yes, this is a kissing slut show. It Robert is a kissing show. slut. But somehow it still managed to be boring. <laughs> no! Yeah. yeah. Can we just have a moment of silent RIP for Sam? Well, stop jacking off. Ave Maria. No, stop. Is that Latin for a get inside me? Is that what you're singing? Maybe. So everybody's gone now. So it's the morning after. The morning after. There's got to be a morning after. This is going to be a singing show. This There's one a I lot can of already singing. tell. There's so it's the morning singing. after. And what is the one way to bring a bunch of gays together after a really tragic event? Brunch! Brunch! If, if. They brought brunch to Syria. That could fix everything. Oh, God. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's possible. I don't know what's worse that you said that, or half the people watching this don't know what Syria is. (laughs) Or where Aleppo is. Read (laughs) Gary Johnson. Johnson, Just like Gary Johnson. Gary Johnson. Boy. Gary Johnson sounds like a a janitor in high school, doesn't he? It does, or a porn star. Kind of, but no one had the name Gary. I can't believe we just made a joke about a libertarian <laughs> on this show. No one's going to watch this. Hillary Kane. Doing brunch. And Robert comes over. It's like creeping into the guy's like bedrooms, which is it weird. Is. It's and like, it's, it's strange. And it's like kind of Alfred Hitchcocky. Or Goldie so, Cox in the Three Twinks. Goldie Cox in the Three Twinks. So anyway. This one's just right. He's got stuff. It's like got his bags. And and then Justin, he went course, to Ralph's. I guess he went to Ralph's. Went to Ralph's. And Justin's like, I can chop peppers, which With I kind of want for my ringtone. <laughs> so a lot de- of ringtones. So they decide to make brunch, and they're eating food, and yada yada, and they all sit down at a table, and then everybody's about to sit down together, and then guess who needs to pull him aside and talk again? Thirsty Dylan. Or as uh, we now say, thanks to Sam. Thanks to Sam, dehydrated Dylan. Dehi- or, or right after that, actually, even more importantly, Chad pulls Robert away, and they go sit in this. What are they sitting in? What is with that? a basket, like Austin Powers mod thing that a cat sits in? <laughs> it's like this. It's not it's comfortable. Really I'm awkward. Sorry. It is like move your fat ass. Yes, it's not. It's not a. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not a. It's like, do I make you horny? <laughs> it's really weird, but it's wicker. Chad is rubbing his arm, and then it's creepy all around. And then there's a kiss between that. And like a good, there's a little tongue. There's Again, a little tongue, and there's some things to see. But the evidence show Robert is attracted to crazy. Crazy, 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 Dylan. crazy, crazy, which is creepy. It, you know what? It's like. It, it literally, every time Dylan, it's like, you remember how you used to flirt with boys in high school? No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do that either. <laughs> but if I could, that would be nice. High school sucks. I flirted with girls in church groups. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was sweet. Oh. It was sweet. Anyway, I hope they're so, not married to someone gay. We, <laughs> with pleated, pleated khakis. So, I would have been a church organist. Uh, <laughs> Define organ. <laughs> Lance Bass comes in in a white suit that has no place on anywhere. anywhere Heavens to Murgatroyd. Heavens to Murgatroyd. Yeah, I don't know what was happening. Like, like gay Casper dressed everybody. <laughs> Gayer so, Casper. Gayer Casper. Cat, that is a gay ghost. So Lance says, guess what, guys? Everybody's going to have a dinner with Robert, and he's going to choose if he wants appetizers, dinner, or dessert. Which is gross. Even yeah. The Bachelor hasn't made people meals. I just imagine him literally, he was going to rim all of their asses on every day. <laughs> and go, and I'm tastes in, like an appetizer. Yeah, mm, oh. Tastes like Cher. I don't know why I said that. Whoa. I bet Robbie's ass tastes <laughs> like Cher. 
Down. I bet it's like Bob Mackie beautifulness. <laughs> I love Bob Mackie. What <laughs> happened to Bob Mackie? He's still around. Oh, I love him. Okay, you need to calm the fuck down. Sorry. We find out that Robbie's gonna get the appetizer. He is. Finally, a little Robbie time. And uh, Eric, Eric, who we haven't heard from a lot, is gonna get the main course, which, what the fuck is that? Which, it is creepy how he's like, you're gonna yeah, be my you're appetizer. You're gonna get my main gonna be, course. So literally he was like, I'm gonna rim your ass. I'm gonna... Everybody okay, gets, gets their ass, ass ribs, <laughs> and then Brandon so was dessert. Gonna get dessert. He's like, I'm happy to be dessert. Ooh, dulce de leche. Like, there's not even a double entendre. It's all single entendres. It is for there's, everyone. Well, there's one thing we're learning Eat with our show. There is no subtext. No. But I do like. We were excited to see a little bit because we we're wondering, like Brandon, it's time to put up or shut up, bitch. Agreed. Because where like, are you? Where yeah. is she? Come on. Um. So Robbie comes in for the appetizer. Dead. He's got his yellow shorts on. He's he looks great. great. He's fun. Like a yacht. He's like kissing his little beautiful eyes. Or yeah. like fluttering. It's, it's um. So, but all of a sudden, Robert starts asking questions about the friend zone, That's and right. he's like, and he's funny. Okay. And then the worst part is. After that whole thing, they do get a kiss in. They do get a kiss in, which feels it's like a pet kiss there. though. With, with Chad and Robert, it was a That's little like. Blah, 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 but blah, blah. Ro Robbie says something really interesting. He's like, you know, with funny people, you know, uh, it's really easy to put them in the friend zone, which is very true. And I found that when you know, in my own dating life, and you know, you just it's it's a tough thing for for its gay man, whether it's. You know, girls who are dating guy, we do the funny person. Mm -hmm. It's really easy to get in the friend zone. And we all love Robbie, but, you know, you think, you know, how easy it for, is it for him to date? You know what? I think if you're listening, dicks come and go. But humor, <laughs> that's a lasting relationship. I'm just saying. That is the best hook of a song <laughs> I've ever heard. Dicks, dicks come, come and go, go, but humor's here to stay. So. Robbie then comes back to the house, and I love that he's thirsty and he's, they're all oh, they're crazy. all like, "What happened? What happened?" Paul literally looks like me back when my friends came back from church camp. I just wanted to know who fucked. He was so like excited about it. I almost just spit this <laughs> on the floor. We have not done. A we spit did. Take. We did a spit take. Well, no, Sam did that last week. <laughs> 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 ah! <laughs> spit take, Sam. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Hashtag spit takes hands. Hashtag. Paul immediately, once he found out that Robbie and Robert. Jealous, jealous, jealous. Which was kind of. He's kind of robot-y though. So he's, I know, even Paul Even I like Paul. I like love Paul. Paul I do not want you seeing him. Please stop. Please but stop. I liked it though when he got a little jealous because that's, I, when we were watching that, I was like, he's, he's alive. He's a real person. He's alive. He's alive. Frankenstein he's just rose. He kind of looks like Frankenstein. He's, he's like tall. He's tall. And there are those bolt things on the either side of his head. <laughs> Eric's turn is next, who is the Ooh. main course. It is. Her hair yeah. is on point. It, it's she really high. Very much look like, like Dylan in 90210. Yes! Dylan McKay. Yes, Dylan McKay. Dylan McKay. That's a good Luke reference. Perry. Ooh, um, I saw him once. But very gay. The very oh, gay. Oh, way gayer. Like yeah. Dylan McGay. Dylan, Dylan McGay. That's Hash, his name from now on. Dylan, Dylan McGay. McGay. So, they are, what they're eating, you know what? They're eating they like never some said what they were fish. eating. No, it's all sketches shit. Wow. Oh. Um, it's all like low rent kind of like fancy dining food, but it's not really good. It just looks good. Like El Pollo like, Loco when it's catered at your day job. They're having the whole like meal and they're like talking and there's a lot of, as uh, Robert says, silences. Yeah, because they're, not, they're just kind of staring at each other. Sti yeah, they're not talking. And it is. It's Here kind it is. Of it's kind of like this. And then it shows him like touching hand. It literally was like, we will only just begin. But like. It's like a carpenter without song. The, without the anorexia. And she dies at the end. So this can't end well. <laughs> That's a good TV movie. What's it called? Karen Carpenter. I watched that on a with, boat with Terry. Kim. I watched on that a on a boat. boat. <laughs> Were you on a cruise? No, it was my on my aunt Bessie's houseboat. That is fucking. That's a whole other country. Story. That is some country <laughs> bull shit. Anyway. Let's move on. And the date didn't end. They, they did not kiss. They did not kiss. So and even when they said bye, it was a little awkward. So, so next, Brandon. Brandon is for dessert. dessert. And you know and what? He's smiling. He's cute. And he's he fun. is pretty. And he I'm gave, rooting for Brandon. I wanted Brandon to his, show up. Like, sobriety necklace. And so he's like, he's working really hard. And so they're like flirty, and and I feel like Brandon kind of doesn't know how to to do to, to, to like work these shows. 
Like, I feel like he's he's Brandon trying to be is himself. being himself, and yeah. I think that he doesn't really worry about TV. I um, liked it though. I like Brandon him. says. I just want you to keep giving me butterflies, which reminded me of butterfly kisses oh, and auburn hair. I actually thought that was a great moment when they talked about his sobriety. Like it was in a very organic way. Yeah, it was a nice way to talk about like that in the gay community. And, yeah, because that's know. a big deal. And then, but Brandon, score for Brandon, bitch broke down the wall. Remember, Robert just started crying. He started talking about that was his coming. That You're was right. great, and he started talking about Robert's coming out. Robert talked about his family, which kind of broke emotionally. Which yeah. again, and I like that. I, that was the first for both of them. That was the most I ever related to Robert or Brandon. Because let's be honest, yeah, Robert, I, I there's a, it's a what do you mean? She's a Robert. She's like one of my least favorite. What's people. what's wrong? I mean, there's wrong with him, but it's just like the next day. It's gym time! A gym time, because what happens after you eat food? You, you gotta work it off or you're gonna be a fat girl. Exactly. They go to work out, and it's really weird, and the trainer, who is cute. And the trainer, who? Put I him on the, the show. I know. Come on, I'd like to lift his weight. <laughs> I mean, his penis. <laughs> I think they got it. In my mouth. Um, I think Ooh. we got it. I think. Is that what they call a burpee? <laughs> I wouldn't I know. know. Everyone else is having a lot of fun. Paul does not like working out. He likes the way he looks after he works she out. She has muscles for show. Those She doesn't use those. So things. anyway, that's like a really offensive thing for uh, um, Robert. Well, offense, uh, well, obviously. It is so. funny how like they uh, to say, I don't like working out. All of them All were of them like, scandal. Oh. They were like, what? It's basically like seeing I eat babies for breakfast. Yeah, come on. I, this like, doesn't I, I hate Celine Dion. And they lose their minds. If somebody hates if Celine Dion, if says, you hate Celine Dion, fuck you. And the pretentious you know horse no, she no, rode in on. That. They, if you hate Celine Dion, you just haven't had the right exposure. And I'm sorry for you're you. You're an idiot if you don't like and her. So I need to take some time. If, you, if, if, if you're watching this and you hate Celine Dion, you Honestly, need to email right us. in, and we'll we'll remedy that for you. Or you're you need you need to be condemned to help. And then Paul and Robert have this weird conversation, weird. working out uh, after the workout. And Paul's just talking about how he can't get comfortable and he can't relax, and he's worried about being a perfectionist. I mean, he's like, and, it, and then Robert's like, really honestly, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect. You know. And Paul's like, Ugh. and everyone everyone's sitting at home going, can I fast forward this? Yeah, I mean, I get it. It's Paul awful. Needs, I'm sorry, if Paul can't relax, then... Get the fuck out. I mean, how, anyway, do, you, how so do you take a dick? That's all you do is just this breathing exercises. Come on, step it up. Woo, you it's just like bro- Lamaze. You, yes, you relax and pray, Paul. <laughs> unless unless you're like strictly a top. I don't think I've ever prayed. Oh. but <laughs> Ooh. Anyway. Ooh, Darnell. So, I prayed with Darnell. Darnell. Ooh. So we're getting to the Black Tie Fair. As mm-hmm. we already said before. Yes. And everyone's lining up and everyone's doing their whole thing. And we're not for sure who's going home we here. We don't know. Now, and we, because we think Robbie did not have a good day, so we're a little worried because, of course, no fats, no fems, no Asians. Yeah. And, and, Robbie, and Robbie's, Robbie's funny. Fem, and yeah. none of the fats are here anymore. So Robbie's got a target on his But if, if Robbie leaves, then literally... It's just... It's good, but it'd be like... Guys. It, this, it would be like... It would be West more entertaining Hollywood to royalty. watch HSN on Saturday at 1 in the morning. Not that I've ever done that. Hey, I love HSN. I do, too. So... Remember when we bought Liza Minnelli clothes from <laughs> HSN? We have a... Oh, Liza Minnelli used to make the best evening wear. Yo, Eric is safe. Dylan's safe. Oh, yo, blah, Chad... Blah, blah. But no, Chad was safe first. first. And he's first. crying. And, and yes, and, and then says, later on they cut to Chad crying... When other no one's even been voted off, no and one. Chad is already and he crying. said and before it, all this happened, Chad was like, "Why would you take my tie? <laughs> why would you take my tie? Why would you take, oh, oh, take my tie? No, nobody take like." I think he's kind of cute. This one doesn't like him. I think uh, no. I think he's a fucking serial killer because I think he's crazy. He's got a little cute little dividend. He's not a serial killer. I shouldn't say that. I kind of like serial killers. Anyway, so they do their own thing. Left. We were left with Robbie and Paul. And Paul. And we're so we're thinking. He talks to Robbie first. It's like you know, you're you're and it's you're not great. Good. You're a funny person. And he wants to see the serious I, I really side want to see of Rob- the serious side of you. Who wants to see the serious side of Robbie? You know, so much fun. You know what it is? I think it's that Robbie has worked past his shit. That's mm-hmm. what I see. And a lot of other people are still working Amen, through their sister. shit. I don't want. So, I don't want people who work their shit. Just because you've worked on your shit and you're a joyous person doesn't mean you have to be a Debbie fucking downer. Okay. Amen. 
Amen. We can solve. We solve that shit right away. Yeah, so anyway, but he goes. Yeah. To, so he talks to Robbie. Then he goes Let's to Paul. Us, Robert Sepulveda. So anyway, so he's talking to Paul, and he's like, you know, our last conversation. You don't like working out, and you <laughs> are kind did. of like negative, and you're you don't have, you, and you, Paul. You don't have to be perfect, and like it's a therapy session. And here's the best part. He says, Paul, I need to ask for my tie. <gasps> It was like, I mean, between Paul and, and Robbie, Robbie, even was, Robbie went like this. He did too. He was like, it was a little bit like Sophie's Choice. Except abortion wasn't involved. Potato, potato. Paul got butted off, which makes me Paul's gone. 0 for 2. It makes this one 0 for 1. I'm still, I'm still hanging on to Brian, Brandon. I'm I think he's boring. Well, I think Brandon, he got, I think Brandon's got a road to hoe. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> or, or a ho to row. Or a ho. Oh! Like that way. It was very awkward. <laughs> it was like watching Obama dance. Like, it was just white. I love our president. Shut I up. do too. I admit he can't dance. You're a communist. <laughs> anyway, uh, that so is, that's it. That's that the show for today. That is it for this episode. So, so you know the drill. Like, leave the comments below on the YouTube channels. Oh, and what's more importantly, we have a very special bonus episode we coming do. up. We do. With someone associated with the show. That's all we'll I won't say. say it, but you can find it on the YouTube link. We can give you a hint. He doesn't swallow, but he likes to spit. <laughs>